Hello and welcome to my video podcast. Today we're going to be reviewing a video by Billy Carson concerning the name of Jesus. And he says, we should not call Jesus by the name of Jesus. You're actually giving glory and honor to a Greek mythological god named Zeus. And so we're going to take a look at that. Take a listen. Jesus is not the real name. That's a fabricated name. Name That name is fake. More of a more of a modern name. As a matter of fact, the J didn't even exist until more recently. So it was really Asus is what they were calling out. Asus at the time that they were putting this canonized text together, this book together, this curated re, uh, remix of information. And Asus is Hail Zeus. That's what they're saying in ancient tongue. Hail Zeus. So every time you call on on, on the name of Jesus, you are actually saying Hail Zeus. You're not calling on you know, the divine God King that you think you're calling on, son of, you know, the creator of the universe, you're calling on Zeus, an ancient character from Greece that actually is not a myth. Zeus is actually one of the original Sumerian pantheon. The names from the original pantheon of Sumeria got renamed to the Greek. That's how they do it. You know, the Greek always come in and re they rename everybody. They rename Thoth to Hermes. Okay, so... One of the points that they try to make is that Jesus's name was Yeshua in Hebrew, but Yeshua transliterated into Greek is Asus with an I. And then he makes the argument that, well, the J wasn't actually in their alphabet and therefore calling him Jesus is wrong. But you know what you're going to find out when you read the Old Testament, you're going to read the word Jerusalem. And we're going to actually, in another video that we review, he references Jerusalem, and guess what he calls it? Jerusalem, starting with a J. So if you're going to be fair and equal in your judgments and say, you cannot use J whatsoever because it's actually not in the original language, you might as well just start reading the original language, if that's the way that we're going to start doing things. And this business of Asus means hell God, that is not correct, and again, Asus is a transliteration of the Hebrew word Yeshua, which is a reference to uh, the true God, God is salvation, God saves. And so this business that he's just making up and putting out there, we're going to examine on another video, another video of his. And when he actually references the text in the Bible and the, uh, the chronological order in which the events of Jesus's life occur, it is just out there. And so what are we what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with somebody who is deceiving into deception. And because you're listening to his words, it sounds like a fair speech in the sense that he sounds confident with what he's talking about. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you can't back up the things that he's saying. And that's what we have to be aware of when we're listening and learning from individuals that just because they sound confident does not mean that they are teaching the truth. And so was Jesus's real name Jesus? Well, in the Greek, we have it recorded in all of these manuscripts as Asus, starting with an I. And in the English, that is Jesus. So is it wrong to call him Jesus? No. Is it wrong to call him Asus, which is in the Greek? If you look up the Greek manuscripts that we have, that's what it calls him. Is it wrong to call him Yeshua? No, it's not. But once you start binding and saying you have to call him only Yeshua, now you're running into a problem because the Greek manuscripts from the early centuries do not call him Yeshua. So that's where you run into the issue. Can you call him those names? Yes, you can. Can you bind and say you must call him this one name like this one individual is appearing to try to do? No, you can't. And the reasoning just falls apart. And as stated, we're going to see another video where he actually references Jerusalem and he calls Jerusalem, Jerusalem with a J, but the J is not an actual language. So again, if you're going to be fair in your judgments, be equal and apply them yourselves. Hope you all have a nice rest of your day until tomorrow. Um, may God bless you.